y'all, it's soldiers. Ow, ow, ow. And I'm back with another video. Hi. So, ek, where? I think my camera's crooked. Or what I'm looking like. I feel like I tried a new hairstyle and honestly, I really don't like it. It is what it is. Okay, I'm going to be doing a updated q and I haven't done uh, a sit down talking video in a while, I feel like. I kind of was throwing in some like good fun videos that you guys love to see and I think it's kind of time to just sit down and relax and put a video out for you guys and kind of just give you an update because I feel like there is some stuff going on in my life that I kind of just want to update you guys on. Go on my Instagram and I asked you guys to give me some questions. I out some questions but also to there was some questions that I really did want to like touch base on with you guys. People really did ask that question. So I'm just going to explain it and basically ask it to myself. And we're just going to get it out here. Um, everyone has been asking me lately, Jersey, are you planning on still moving to Tucson? Because, you know, that was like a big thing that I was like always putting out my videos. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to live with my girls. I'm moving to Tucson next year and that was the plan i'm kind of gonna just like explain everything that happened when me and anthony went on our like big la trip I made it the decision that it was just best for him to no longer go to u of a basically with him not being at u of a that was of course the reason why i was going down to tucson going to u of a um, so i was always going down there and of course i made my own friends and everything which is awesome and I still keep in touch with all of those friends from U of A and I will continue to keep on doing that. But yeah, he just thought it was the best decision for him to no longer go there. So he's kind of, you know, starting his own life now back at home and he has a really good job. We are planning on moving out with each other in a year or so. So I ended up getting out of my lease. Um, it was a little bit hard at first because I signed my lease back in like... I don't even know it was a long time like it was probably like the beginning of the football season and everything like I already figured out that like that was my plan and I wanted to live um where I had planned and I ended up getting accepted and everything so it was like the plan to move there actually coming up in August my friends are um gonna be moving there in August or whatever so in like two or three days or so and i just didn't talk about it all throughout summer just because i wanted to like be fully sure on what was going on i am announcing it now yes i'm no longer moving to tucson which is totally fine i didn't have to pay her fee or anything they just filled my spot with someone else luckily my friends were very very understanding of it and you know everything was good that chapter i don't want to say is closed in my life because it's definitely not i'm still going to be going down there because i built a lot of good friendships and relationships with people down there so like I said I'm gonna continue going down there it's just and so will Anthony it's just not that path where he wants to go basically planning on moving out now like hello Jersey what are you doing you've been talking about since the day you turned 18 you were going to move out and you know do everything um so yeah my plan is still of course to move out I turned 18 in March so Da, 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 da. I'm still building like my credit and everything I like the hardest thing about the job that I have I'm sorry y'all I'm just gonna put it all out there because that's what we're gonna do venting to you guys like that's how it's gonna be I just need to get everything off of my chest damn it I forgot where I was I forgot y'all oh my god that's so terrible my job is a little hard as far as money goes consistent thing when you are a social media influencer and you're your own boss almost because money it depends on how your views are doing like it depends on okay did this month did my videos do good and did everything you know skyrocket did i get good brand deals and so this is the certain amount of money that i came in it's kind of like you can never have a consistent flow of like exactly how much money you are going to be getting that month so you can never ever ever really rely on a certain amount of much money that you're going to be getting which really really sucks like it's a blessing but it's also like not a blessing like of course like it's a blessing to be able to be my own boss and work on my schedule and whenever I want. I love it. I've never had it any other way. Like I said, I'm 18 years old, so I've never even had, like at 16 years old, I never worked. Like I have never ever worked a regular job besides, well, this is a regular job. But like I'm saying, I've never worked like a 9 to 5 job where I have to go 
and you know going to work and I'm gonna go in at this certain time and then I'm gonna get out at this certain time so I think like me and my whole family we've kind of like all realized that and it's kind of became a struggle especially like when you have like bills luckily I don't have too much bills right now which is amazing but of course my other brothers do have bills so it's kind of it's gonna be like a tough situation when I do move out and when I do get a new car because I'm gonna really have to um, just like branch out in different ways to get money instead of just YouTube. I don't even know if I should be telling all of you guys this. I wanna give you guys a little insight on like what it really is and how this, how the whole thing works. If you guys didn't know, I did plan on getting a Range Rover and that's like literally my all time dream car and that is my goal. I'm still aiming for it, but um, you know, you wanna make sure that you have a consistent flow of money before you put yourself in a big car payment, especially with everything right now, car, like uh, every single price is going up. Gas is like, oh my gosh, gas is so expensive right now. Luckily my car does not take too much to fill up a gas but a Range Rover honey that's gonna be like a hundred dollars it's a lot so I'm kind of just like paused on a lot of stuff I'm being a lot smarter with my money um you know making sure everything is good so I feel like that was kind of like a big change for me because I definitely think when people get this big chunk of money um you want to just go spend it on a lot of stuff and I will say I went through that I think everyone goes through that one time in their life and I just love how at this age like I can realize it and kind of like set myself up now. So I'm just now starting to um, write down my goals and I've never been the type to write down my goals, use a calendar. I've never really done any of that so that's like something, a goal of mine I guess you could say is that's what I'm trying to do and kind of keep myself on a schedule. I feel like you, with this job that I have you have to be really disciplined on yourself and make sure that you're doing certain things um to keep yourself motivated it's like kind of hard to like just take a day off and like be super comfortable and like just not want to do anything and not work and you know not put out these tiktoks or not put out a youtube video or not post an instagram go take instagram pictures like i know my it sounds so easy you guys but i promise you like it is a lot like there's stuff that goes into it is all I'm trying to say. I have been in the gym a lot. Um, I am starting to work on myself. I've been feeling really good about myself. Highly recommend if you have any type of gym next to you, go take that class, go do it. Like literally go at nighttime, go in the morning time, whatever time works for your schedule. I promise you add into your like daily routine, at least some type of exercise and you are gonna feel so good about yourself. I'm a really late sleeper, I love to sleep in. Anybody in my family, you can ask them. Jersey loves to sleep in. Like, it's her thing. I've been doing it probably for like three weeks now. I take classes at my gym and I absolutely love them. Like, it's so awesome. Like, sometimes I'll go at night, sometimes I'll go in the morning. And if I go in the morning, I get a head start without throughout my day because I'm making sure to wake up because I feel good about myself. I feel confident in my body. Um, so that's something new that I've been doing and I'm hoping to stay really consistent with that I need to because it's making me feel good um, Someone asked me how long have you and your boyfriend been dating for me and Anthony have been together It's about to be our two years on oh, In September most positive September 24th or so It will be our two years. So we've been together for a while now um he's my best friend literally i i love him to death even though he annoys the shit out of me sometimes and sometimes he's like a brother to me and i just want to pop him in the face but i still do love him i feel like it is one of like the best relationships i have ever had let me see a side of myself that i have never seen before and i just think naturally he makes me grow you know like i feel like i've been so glowy and just like you can tell that I'm in a happy relationship. That's like the main thing that I want to say. A piece of advice I would give to people starting high school. Actually, it feels really weird that I am like, don't have school. Like this is like real life. Like I'm done with high school and I'm done with middle school. Like I don't have to go to college if I don't want to. Like I don't have to go to school if I don't want to. What the hate? Stay true to yourself. I think in high school, I kind of 
um, with the two years that I was there like you guys know like I did do online school pretty much like my whole high school surround yourself with people that better you and I think that was something for me I wasn't surrounding myself with good people and they actually tore me down a lot and I just started to become not myself so that's something that's like one main thing that I would say for you guys and make sure you stay on top of your schoolwork because trust me baby it's gonna pile it up if you don't keep if you don't continue it it's gonna pile up. congratulations you are about to be done with high school you are about to be a grown-up or you're not about to be a grown-up and you're a junior congratulations you're one year away congratulations oh my gosh i feel like this is giving real sentimental luck i'm gonna say it what is something little jurors would be proud of right now little jurors is proud of the woman that she has become um for like two years ago me i was just such in a terrible place and now i'm just so confident with myself and so like i don't know how to describe the word but like i just have matured as a person and i'm just like really i'm just proud of myself in general like i'm proud of like the way i take care of myself i'm proud of the way that i feel about myself I am just a happy ass person and I feel like two years ago Jersey was not happy like she was constantly sad and you know she had a lot of issues and she's no longer like that so that's probably something that I'm so proud of of, of the platform that I am now having and like the effort that I'm putting into it um, I am proud of the fact that I am going to be coming out with a clothing brand and I'm going to be eventually coming out with my own perfume. Like, girl, like who would have thought I would have had my own perfume? Like, so that's also something really exciting and that I kind of want to let you guys know on. I say soon, I am going to be coming out with my clothing line called that is really in the works right now perfume is going to take some time so if you guys have any ideas on like the bottle design the scents anything that you guys can think of really what my plan is is to give you guys a scent that really smells like me and like like when you think about it and when you smell it it's like super like fresh and just fun and it's just a little jurors perfume like that's basically like what i'm trying to come to my head and as far as the clothing goes it's um it has a whole meaning behind it so i'll get more into that once it's coming out and everything but i'm just really excited for it because i know you guys are gonna genuinely love it as much as i do if you guys know i have been posting about my freaking head i have a burnt mark right now from my crimper so whatever but if you guys know back in LA when me and Anthony went on our trip I actually fell off of a bird and I smashed my head onto the floor and I had a really big bump the whole entire time that we were in LA and I finally recently just went to the doctor probably last month I think it was or no not last month it was probably it was like in the beginning of August um I went to my uncle because he's a doctor and I have to get a MRI done and I have to get a whole bunch of blood work done so that's the next step on my head um definitely did have a little a brain injury or whatever um from falling and so like I still kind of have a bump when you go across it luckily you can no longer see it but like if you guys look at when I like go like this like do you see that like dent right here that will forever be there um I can do like some facial massages and stuff like that with putting oil and massage and stuff but yeah i'll have that basically there forever so that's kind of crazy and yeah like i said next step is just getting an mri done i feel like the only reason why i went to the doctor was because i feel like my memory loss like i normally already do have memory loss um but i feel like i have more of a memory loss now like it's hard like as you guys saw in the beginning of the video i like struggled to remember what i was talking about so it just kind of sucks and i just don't really want to deal with that the rest of my life which i probably will now this video probably may have been a little bit boring to you but i just kind of wanted to like talk to you guys i feel like i have a really good connection with my audience and my um supporters so i just wanted to kind of let everything out and let you guys know what is all going in my life and 
yeah if you guys have anything to talk about please talk about it in the comments and i will reach right back out to you or you know you guys can all the jersey girls can talk to each other comment down also to some banger video ideas because of course i want to get all that content out for you guys and i love you guys so much and seriously thank you so much for following me on my whole journey and i'm really excited to continue this journey with you guys like i said clothing brand perfume i'm hyped for it so you guys make sure you are ready for it and you know what even comment down below some clothing that you guys want to um see so that maybe i can create those for you and yeah i love you guys and we are out jersey girls Mwah.